Hey everyone, welcome back. Imagine you've got a web page and you've got a menu on there and rather than the menu taking you to other pages, you just want to click it and it takes you to another section. Maybe you've got seven sections, you're about, you know, your services, your products, your contact me, all of that. You just want it on a one page layout. Let's have a look at how we can do that. Three different ways with no CSS or no additional plugin. We're going to do it with what's available within Elementor. Okay, let's get started. We're in Elementor. Uh, we're just going to add in a section like so. And what I'm going to do is just add in like a header, an image and some text just to get my point over what we're doing here. So we've got a header. We're then just going to pull over a image as well. And we'll just put something in the image just so that we've at least got something. I won't put my photo because I'm sure that will annoy a lot of you if I keep doing that. There we go. Insert media. Okay, and we're just going to make that image a little bit smaller because I don't want it to just be the focus of what we're doing. Great, and then we'll add in some text. Text, 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 text editor. There we go. Right, let's put the styling on that and let's just change it to that and we'll centralize it. Basically, that's one section. Pretty simple, right? Okay, we're then going to just change the text in the header and we're just going to say number one. And we're just going to say number one. Okay, we'll update that. Let's duplicate it. And we're going to call this one number two. And we're going to duplicate it again. You know, I mean, come on, we, we are just doing an example here. And you would probably have something a lot more beautiful and gorgeous to look at than what I've got here. Can you imagine presenting this to someone? This is your website. You will like it. I don't think they will. Okay, so number one, number two, and number three. Now let's go in and add in a menu to allow one page um, navigation. And this is the first of the three methods. So let's just add in another section just at the top. Obviously you would do this maybe in your header, maybe on the left or right hand side of your page. You know, you might have a column which is now going to be a navigation. It's up to you how you do this. I'm just doing an example with a section here. What we're going to use for method one is an icon list and this may surprise some people as to why we're using that so let's just drop that in there instead of having vertical we can have vertical it's up to you but I'm just going to put it as an inline and I'm also going to put it as a right aligned and the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to get rid of the icon if you want to have an icon you can have an icon okay so we've got a icon list there and if I click anything in here it's not going to do anything for us because what we now have to do is we have to tell that icon that when we click on any of the items in there, take me to a certain point on the page. To do that, we go back over here and we type menu. And what we're looking for is the menu anchor. So we click a button or an icon list and it is now going to jump to wherever we have anchored the item to go to. So I'm going to pick up menu icon, anchor, and I'm going to pop it above number one. And I'm going to call it number, number one. Did I spell that right? Yeah, number one. There we go. That's it. Just number one. Take account of how you spell it and the caps as well. So if you put capital N for number one, remember that because the casing does matter. Okay. And the number as well. Okay, cool. Let's just duplicate that. Let's now drop that to be above number two and we'll change that to be a two. Just make sure I didn't change the right one. Number one, number two, number one, number two. Right, okay, and then we're just gonna change this one here to be number three. That's pretty simple so far, yeah? Menu anchor and we've given them an ID, number one, number two, number three. Brilliant. Now let's go over back to our icon list at the top. List item one. We're going to call this N1, number one, okay? Now the link for this is going to be hashtag number one. The hashtag is important, but the what I've written there, number one, must match what I had before. Okay, you with me so far? Let's do another one. And we're going to call this N2, and it must now go to hashtag number two. Okay, 
And then we're going to copy that again. And whoa, not that many times, dude. Right, and we're going to put N3 and we're going to put a number three for hashtag number three. And we update it. Let's now see what happens. If I hit preview, and I'm now previewing the page, if I hit N1, it's not going to do much because N1 is there. But it has taken me to number one. I hit N2, it goes to N2. If I hit N3, it will go, but not all the way to the bottom. And I'll explain why. So look, there you go. It's gone to number three. But the reason why it's not pulling all the way to the top yet is because there's no other content below number three. If I had a bit more content or a footer or something, that number three would be right at the top. And just to prove it, look, if I hit number two, it does go up. Again, it's not going all the way up because there's nothing in number three. But um, trust me, it does work, okay? Right. Let's just close out of that. That was method number one, okay? I am just for the sake of it now, just gonna make this image really, really big, like so. Let's just do it the same here as well. Because um, I don't want you to go away thinking, oh, you're lying, you hit the number and it only went to the middle of the page. No, it, it does work, trust me. Okay, so that's method one. We used an icon list, menu anchor, and then in the icon list, we did hashtag, with whatever was the ID of your menu anchor, and it took us there. Now let's try another method. What if we now were to use a button? So let me add in another section. And yep, yeah, that's a section. And we will now use a button instead. So let's just stick in a button. Let's left align it. Let's just change it to be N1. Now over here, we are going to type, um, well, it's already got the hashtag in, but we're just going to type in number, we'll type in number three, because I just want to show you this once. So I've already showed you number one, number two, number three. The same concept applies here, okay? So hashtag number three. Let's just go to the styling, because that's a really disgusting styling that we've got on there. And you could have it, you could style it however you want, okay? So you may decide that, let me just save that. You could, if you want, have a background. You might want to have a transparent background. You might want to have a, uh, you know, a, a circle or however you want to do it. Okay, it's entirely up to you. Your padding, your margin, whatever. That is a button. Okay, however you style it, that is up to you. All right. Okay. If I now hit update, and I now go to, sorry, let's go to preview, and I hit N1 it goes down to number three. <laughs> That's because it was number three. What did I call it N1 for? Let's just go back there. I don't want to confuse you. Let me just put that back as N3. Okay, let's put that N3. And let's just increase this image size to be horrendously big, like so. Okay, right. And I'm just going to create, I'm just going to uh, duplicate this section numerous times as well. So I just want to get a point across that it does work. Right, back to the top of the page. Update. Preview, N3, we're now at N3, and look, it is at the top, because I've made, I've added a bit more content, you know, just go with me on this, all right? So that is method number two. Method number one was the icon list. Method number two was the, uh, uh, the button. Now, number three is a little bit different, but the same kind of concept and things apply, and it's probably the one that most people will be used to. So let's just go back into WordPress. Let's go to appearance. Okay, so we're in the we're in the area where you create your menu. So what, what I'm going to do is call it um, one page scroll. Right, okay, and we will then just click create menu. Right, one page scroll. What we're gonna do now is rather than picking one of these pages or anything, because it's items on a page, we're gonna go to custom link. And in the custom link, I am going to paste the domain, the name of the page, which was text editor, because it's a test page I have. And after the back, the forward slash, I now type hashtag, and I'm gonna type number three. Again, remember, you could do it for number one, number two, number three, I'm just showing you an example here. And I'm gonna put the text here to say, number three example, what? Go for it, go for whatever you want. And there we've added it. And then you would do the same if you were gonna do a number one. And you would have text editor, hashtag number one. 
and then you would put the text in to be number one and add it to the menu. But I'm just showing you how this works. Okay, cool. So that is now done. Let's just save the menu. Right, let's now go back to our page. Okay, we're back into our one page. Right, so let's now add in a, another section, like so. And we are then going to pull over our menu. Just type in menu, and the one you want is nav menu. Let's just pick that up and let's just drop it in over there. I'm going to right align it, and I, from the layout, I'm going to pick a one page scroll, like so. You can't see it yet because I've got white font as my text color. So there it is. Number three example what, 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 what? What, what, what? Not what, 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 what? You know what I'm doing. Okay, so that's now added in. And obviously, you would do the same thing you would do with any other menu your styling, your drop down, your toggle buttons, whatever you want to do there. Let's just click update. And if I now go to preview changes and I click this here, number three. This is brilliant. So I've got three options without a single snippet of CSS coding or additional plugins or anything like that. One page scrolling. Now, I am going to do another video later on where I'm going to show you how we can add in a button so it takes you instantly back to the top. But one of the tips I would give you is that if you have got a one, you know, like a, a menu like this where people can click and go where they want, I would recommend that. Let's just do it for this one. I would recommend that, you know, you do set it, go to advanced, go to motion effects, and maybe put it as a sticky top menu, for instance. So when you are in your preview mode, and you go down to three, it is still there. Obviously, give it, sort out the styling, the background, all of that. Make sure you sort out your padding and everything. But I would reckon, you know, make sure it's visible on the page because otherwise they've got to keep scrolling back up and down to the top and bottom. But like I said, in one of the videos, we are going to show you how to add a fixed button so they can instantly jump back to the top. So that was it. Three ways of doing navigation on a one page site. I hope you like that. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and I will see you soon.